Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpita Karma and in today's video, I'm going to dive into a topic which is frequently asked in UGC Net English and you've guessed it right, it is partition literature. India's partition has not only shaped the history but it also gave birth to some of the most powerful literary pieces. And uh, if you look at partition of India, it wasn't just about the division of the country. It was division of family, lives and dreams of people. But through all the heartache that people had to go through, some incredible writers rose to capture these experiences, helping us understand what millions of people went through. And in today's video, I'm going to explore the works of these remarkable voices who are collectively known as the partition writers. So let us begin by talking about the very first writer who is the remarkable Atya Hussain. She was a British Indian author and she has beautifully captured the condition of Muslim women in the pre-independence India. So you can see partition writing to hai saath mein feminism ka tadka bhi inhone laga hai. Her writing wasn't just a reflection of the time that she was living in. It was also influenced by some of the brightest minds of her era and you'll be surprised to know that her father was friends with the then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. So you can see how uh, closely she must have seen partition and she would have uh, got those influences from her father and from Jawaharlal Nehru also. She also looked up to the incredible Sarojini Naidu who is known as the Nightingale of India. In fact, she even attended the All India Women Conference that happened in Calcutta. It was a movement that empowered women across the country. So she was a powerful uh, member of that particular community as well. Now it's time to look at some of the important works of Atya Hussain. You can see the list uh, on your screen. It starts with Phoenix Fled, then we have Sunlight on a Broken Column, Distant Traveller. Then apart from these novels that she has written, she's also published her own cookbooks. So she um, has written Golden Cooking Guide to Indian Cooking. That is the one, the first one. And the second one is Just Indian Cooking. Now, out of all these works, the most important work that you have to study in detail from UGC Net English point of view, it is Sunlight on a Broken Column. Now, let us look at the plot of this particular work. The story is set in the post-partition India in a town, uh, Lucknow. Now, it follows Leila, who is the main protagonist. She is torn between her desire for freedom and tradition she grew up with. So, you can see tradition versus freedom ka ek debate yaha chal raha hai. It also showcases how women lived, lived in the pre-independent India, especially through that Janina culture. Basically, kya tha? Ki there was a separate space for women in the household. So, you were, not, uh, you were not allowed to have a lot of outside uh, influence. So, you were kept in a different way so that you didn't go out and 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 go out. So that was how pre-partition India looked like. Now the major themes of this novel are identity and belonging. Then we saw tradition versus modernity. Then we also saw freedom versus choice. So these are some major themes that you continuously see. Another important fact, friend, that the title of this novel is taken from T.S. Eliot's famous poem, Hollow Men. So this is a very important reference that you should remember. Now, uh, one more thing that I would want to talk about before we move on to the second writer that I've created a special PDF that summarizes this entire video and provides you with exam ready notes. So you just have to drop a message on the WhatsApp number that is there on screen or you can even go to the description box and click on the WhatsApp link and my team is going to send you that handy PDF. The next writer we are going to talk about is the legendary Kushwan Singh who was not just a novelist but he was also a journalist whose name is so synonymous uh, to the partition of India. I'm sure you must be aware of the iconic novel Train to Pakistan, which was a masterpiece that vividly captured the horrors and human suffering during that time. But what is very, very important to know about Kushwan Singh is that he was just not a storyteller. He was deeply connected to his cultural roots, often exploring the complexities of Sikh identity in his work. So he was just not talking about partition and the challenges. Kahi na kahi wo sick influence bhi aapko unke works mein bohat dominantly dikhta hai. Now in 1974, he was awarded the prestigious Padmu Bhushan. But in a very bold move, he returned it in 1984 uh, against a protest 
एक ऑपरेशन ब्लू स्टार करके हुआ था एक इवेंट जिसके से वो सहमत नहीं थे एंड ही प्रोटेस्टेड अगेंस्ट इट एंड दैट इज वेन ही रिटर्न हिज पद्म भूषण अवार्ड एंड ही सेट दैट आई कैन नॉट एक्सेप्ट इट नाउ खुशवंत सिंह शार्प विट एंड बाइटिंग ह्यूमर वर नॉट ओनली इन हिज नॉवल्स बट ऑल्सो इन हिज एसेज एंड कॉलम्स वेर ही ऑफन क्रिटिक इंडियन पॉलिटिक्स एंड सोसाइटी सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड अगर कभी क्वेश्चन में पूछा जाए कि ऐसे कौन से राइटर है जिन्होंने ऐसेज एंड कॉलम्स भी लिखे हैं देन वी नो दैट इट्स किशवंत सिंह इफ ही इज इन द ऑप्शन एंड हिज फ्यूरलेस कॉमेंट्री इवन टूडे कंटिन्यूज टू इंस्पायर सो मेनी राइटर्स स्पेशली इफ यू लुक एट द कंटेम्प्रेरी इंडियन राइटर्स विक्रम सेठ एंड अरुंधति रॉय दे आर सो मच इंस्पायर्ड बाय द राइटिंग्स ऑफ खुशवंत सिंह नाउ लेट एस लुक एट सम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वर्क्स that has been written by kishwan singh so i'm going to give you a chronological list you can see that on your screen it starts with mark of vishnu and other stories and the last work is truth love and a little melais so these are the works that you should know at least the names now if you are uh, really wondering ki itne sare naam ko chronologically kaise yaad karoge then in that case just remember a mnemonic that i'm going to tell you next and all these works of kishwan singh will be on your tips so the mnemonic is bhagwan vishnu ne sardar ji ke sath train pakdi aur story sunai ki raat ko aaj punjab pahunch ke sabko sach bata denge so agar ye ek line aapko yaad ho gayi hai to isme sare keywords hain jiske through aap pura chronology yaad kar sakte ho okay now that we know the chronological list of all the important works let's look at the most important and the most famous work by kushwan singh and that is train to pakistan This is a novel that you have to read in detail. That means अगर आप पूरी नॉवल नहीं भी पढ़ सकते हो तो एटलीस्ट उसका चैप्टर वाइज समरी पढ़ना बहुत जरूरी है सो वॉट इज द स्टोरी लेट मी समराइज इट वेरी क्विकली इट टेल्स द स्टोरी ऑफ अ स्मॉल विलेज दैट वॉज नोन एज मनो मजरा ड्यूरिंग द नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन पार्टिशन एंड दिस विलेज वॉज वेरी वेरी पीसफुल बिकॉज यहाँ पे सिक्स एंड मुस्लिम दोनों रहते थे साथ में और कोई झगड़ा खुरापात नहीं थी बट एवरी थिंग चेंज वेन अ ट्रेन अराइव विच वॉज फिल्ड विद द बॉडीज ऑफ पीपल किल्ड ड्यूरिंग द वायलेंस जो पार्टिशन हुआ उस टाइम की वायलेंस में जितने भी लोग मरे थे उनकी बॉडीज उस ट्रेन में थी द विलेजर्स आर फोर्स्ड टू फेस द हॉरर्स ऑफ हेटरेड एंड वायलेंस एंड द नॉवल शोज द पेनफुल ह्यूमन कॉस्ट ऑफ द पार्टिशन एंड हाउ इट ब्रोक डिफरेंट कम्युनिटीज अपार्ट सो इट्स अ वेरी वेरी painful novel but at the same time bahut hi eye opening sa work hai and i have given a detailed video lecture wherein i have explained this entire novel in my online course and if you're looking for video lectures wherein i explain all these plots in animated way you can enroll in my online course we are proud to say that we are india's first animated video course wherein we explain more than 500 important plays novels and poems in a very engaging manner for more details you can check out the description box as well now we move on to the last writer who is intizar husain now he is one of the most significant urdu fiction writers who was born in 20th century he was born in pre partition india and much of his writings reflect a deep sense of nostalgia for a life and culture that existed before this divide happened because it's a coffee beautiful tha na india बट पार्टिशन ने काफी कुछ चेंज कर दिया सो कहीं ना कहीं ही थ्रू हिज राइटिंग टॉक्स अबाउट हाउ ब्यूटिफुल द लाइफ वॉज बिफोर द पार्टिशन एपेंड एंड हिज वर्क ब्लेंड हिस्ट्री विथ फोक लॉर एंड यू कैन फील दैट लॉन्गिंग फॉर द लॉस्ट कल्चरल वैल्यूज ऑफ दैट टाइम सो आप सोचो उस टाइम पे भी वो बोल रहे हैं कि कल्चरल वैल्यूज नहीं था तो मतलब आई थिंक अगर अभी इंतजार हुसैन अभी के टाइम पे कुछ लिखेंगे तो ही विल रियली फील के कल्चरल शॉक की तरह अभी इंडिया में चीज़ें चेंज हो रही है इंतजार हुसैन वॉज डीपली इन्फ्लुएंस बाय द रिच ट्रेडिशन ऑफ क्लासिकल उर्दू लिटरेचर एंड द स्टोरी टेलिंग स्टाइल ऑफ साउथ एशिया सो इन सबको उन्होंने कहीं ना कहीं अपने वर्क्स के अंदर भी डाला है हिज स्पिरिचुअल आउटलुक ऑफ इन इनकॉर्पोरेट सूफी फिलोसफी विच गिवस हिज स्टोरीज अ वेरी यूनिक एलिगोरिकल फ्लेवर इफ यू रेड द बुक एल्कमिस्ट बाय पॉलो कोयो सो आप देखोगे उसमें भी यही है कि एलिगरी के थ्रू काफी कुछ बताया जा रहा है एंड द सिमिलर टच यू आर गोइंग टू सी हियर एज वेल नाउ इन 2013 हिज टैलेंट वाज रिकॉग्नाइज्ड इंटरनेशनली व्हेन ही वाज शॉर्टलिस्टेड फॉर द मैन बुकर इंटरनेशनल प्राइज 
putting Pakistani literature in the global spotlight. So that was a game changer for him. Now, let us look at the important works by Intizar Hussain. I've given the list, the detailed list on the screen. Out of all these works, the three most important works from which in-depth questions are asked in UGC net are Basti, Aage Samundar Hai and The Sea Lies Ahead. So basically, Aage Samundar Hai is nothing but the translation of Sea Lies Ahead. So, dono ka plot line same hai. Chike, so, now let us look at these works one by one very very quickly. Basti ki baat kare to it is one of the most famous novels of Intazar Hussain. And the story of this novel is set during 1971 Indo-Pakistani war. It follows the story of a man called Zakir who is a teacher who is lost in the memories of the pre-partition India. As Zakir looks back, he remembers a time when people lived together peacefully. But now he feels disconnected, disappointed with how things have turned out. And through Zakir's thoughts, the novel mixes history, mythology, personal experiences to show that the emotional pain was so intense. And it's a powerful exploration of how our past shapes our identity and the struggle to hold on to the memories in a world that changed so much. Now, when you see this plot, and if you have Look Back in Anger, that wonderful postmodern play, if you have read, then you can actually see that Jimmy Porter and Zakir have so many similarities. And this is how literature kind of uh, connects two separate cultures together because all those cultural uh, things they are talking about the same thread they are talking about the same emotions right now we move on to the next work which is Aage Samandar Hai now it is a novel that takes a deep look at the Pakistan's social political landscape in the latter half of the 20th century and the story follows lives of people who leave their homeland in search of better opportunities. So basically, you will see a little bit of diasporic literature. Wala bhi tinte aape dikhega. But as these people, they try to settle into new lives, they start to miss the past and they struggle with a sense of lost identity. So this novel beautifully captures the feeling of displacement and emotional conflict between chasing new dreams and also at the same time, they are longing for comfort of what was left behind. So it's a poignant reflection on how migration changes people and their relationship with home. And finally, we have the last work, which is Sea Lies Ahead. And this is a, the English translation of Aage Samundar Hai. So we've already looked at the story of Aage Samundar Hai. And this novel, like its original, it dives into the themes of migration, identity, cultural di displacement. And the protagonist uh, in this novel is haunted by the memories of the partition and struggles to come in terms with the realities of post-partition life in Pakistan. So through the story in Tazar Hussain, once again, he tries to explore the pain of loss and the never-ending search for a stable identity in a world that is constantly changing. So it's a powerful reminder of how the past continues to shape our present. So you can see that again, the same uh, theme repeat repeats again. Now, apart from the works that I've discussed in this video, there are many more important partition writers that you should study in order to ace UGC Net English. And there are about 800 plus writers that you have to study for net exam. The detailed list of these writers are given free of cost on arpatakarva.com. So you can even go and check out that free list and then you can start preparing for the exams on your own. Okay, friends, so now let us look at some previous year questions that have been asked from the partition writing. So the first question is in front of you. As you can see that the uh, option has Train to Pakistan by Kushwan Singh. The correct option is also that. Both Basti and Train to Pakistan, they both deal with the aftermath of partition, focusing on the themes of communal violence and displacement. And these novels provide a powerful portrayal of emotional and the cultural trauma that was caused during the partition. So you can see very uh, clearly from questions like these that in-depth questions are asked from major works like Basti and Train to Pakistan and therefore it is very very important to have a strong understanding of these works. So just knowing the names would not be sufficient for major works so it is important for you to know the entire summary, the plot of the novel and key themes. 
now let's move on to the next question now uh, which is asking us to tell which of them is a autobiography of indian novelist kushwan singh and the correct option is truth love and a little melais now this work is an autobiography of kushwan singh wherein he offers a very candid and very humorous reflection on his life his experiences and his views on politics as well as society next question is asking that in which city is sunlight on a broken column set and when i was giving you details about this novel i specifically mentioned that this work is set in lucknow so this work of hatia hussain is set in the city of lucknow which is a place rich in culture and uh, heritage and the novel beautifully captures the city's political and social changes during the time of partition since this novel and its setting is also important for ugc net exam it is essential to have a very strong grasp on the story and its historical context right now last but not the least we have the fourth question in front of your screen and the correct answer is intiaz hussain both the works basti and the sea lies ahead are novels that explore the deep emotional and cultural impacts of partition migration and displacement his works are known for their blend of history mythology and personal reflections so it's very very important to know at least the names of the minor works by these writers if you're looking for more pyqs on these topics then you can check out our exclusive mock test series which provides you with 3000 plus topic wise writer wise questions plus after every test you get a detailed performance report and your ranking in the all india leaderboard which will help you to spot your weak and strong areas that's it from my side for this video lecture i'll meet you very soon in the next video lecture till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwar.com